ready go yes there we go okay so what was the last time you, you attended a grill beef a grill beef uh oh a barbecue as they, as they say in english uh is this, is it more uh like gringos english and barbecue yeah it? yeah we say <laughs> uh maybe a month ago <laughs> a month ago was it uh with friends was it a little social gathering that you guys had no in my, in my house with my with my family mm. over the ranch it was over the ranch wasn't it no no on the on the back garden my house. Oh, yeah your house okay back garden, your house. okay Okay. okay, well, let's get to the questions. Let's get to the questions. First question is, can anyone learn a foreign language? A foreign language? A foreign, a foreign language. Foreign language, yeah, okay. anyone can learn. What's uh, it? it's, just, it's all about practice. Okay, what's it depend on for a person to learn a foreign language? Or what are the main reasons for a person to learn a foreign language? Is it just because just just for the sake of it, for fun. It could be just for a hobby or, or for work. Is uh, the most common reason for work uh, to get a new job, uh, to communicate with foreign people, for example. Or if you wanna, if you have to travel to a foreign country. Okay. Now, um, how are you? How, how did you get into the world of English? What was it like the first time? How did you immerse yourself into the world of the English language? Well, my first contact was in the school, but uh, I've been uh, kind of practicing English uh, mm -hmm. by films, uh, video games, music. Uh, I think it was my, my first encounter with English. Your first encounter, your first approach. So what was it like the first time that you started with with English? Well, uh, first time I didn't understand anything. So uh, firstly, uh, I was uh, taking classes, uh, private classes, okay. uh, English classes at the primary school. But it was really basic, just the, the verb to be. <laughs> Yeah, well, the vet the famous vet So, you, so basically, you you been you been uh, studying English ever since you were primary school. Yeah, since primary school. Okay. <laughs> and you you left English for a moment there, and then you picked it you picked it back up, probably five six years ago. Uh, yeah, actually, but uh, I think that I've been kind of practicing English. Uh, uh, I just I mainly hear to English, English mu uh, music in English, mm -hmm. so it helps me to not to lose uh, lots of practice. But uh, I've lost lots of practice uh, talking, so it's really important to to have conversations. Okay, well, Julie. So is that how you keep uh, your practice going by listening to mu listening to music and attending yeah. classes and watching films? How how frequent mm -hmm. did you, did you uh, look into grammar the, the grammar part? In the grammar, mm -hmm. uh, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. No, not anymore. Because you, you find it unnecessary, or you do find it necessary, but you learn it in a different way. Well, uh, firstly, I found it necessary um, the first time, but because uh, when you're learning the basics, when you're uh, studying at the school, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's, it's really important to, to know the, the basic structure, the grammar. Is uh, I think, in my opinion, this is the, the first step. The first step? Yeah. But it's not, not mandatory, but it's, it's a good way to to introduce yourself in the world of English. Okay, okay, good. Good answer. Mm, learning a foreign language is easy or is quite the opposite? Uh, well, it's up to the method <laughs> that you're uh, using. Uh, you, if you are uh, basing, basing um, only with the, uh, the grammar, with the books, uh, it tends to be, it tends to be uh, tired, it tends to be, I don't know how to say, 
Uh, yeah, but so but by saying that it depends on the method, that means or you're meaning to say that any language is easy to pick up. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's up to the method. Uh, for example, when we are learning, we, when we are taking classes, Spanish classes in the, mm -hmm. at the school, it tends to be uh, really tired, or really tedious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These classes. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. That's true. Yes. So, according to you, it depends on on the on the on the method you're using. Yeah, for example, learning the language. For example, if you like a, a kind of music in any language, for example, if you like music in German, for example, you'll uh, you'll get the, the hobby to learn this mm -hmm. this language for because uh, you're interested or you like this. Mm -hmm. It it makes uh, easier. What do you understand by I'm rusty? To I'm I'm so rusty. Oxidized. Aha, uh -huh, yes. I'm so rusty now, yes. For instance, um, I used to speak English very well, but now I'm rusty. <laughs> okay. I'm rusty, I'm rusty. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm rusty. So I need to dust off my English. I need to dust, dust off. off my English. To dust off, like, to dust it off. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm rusty now. Did you ever, did you ever feel rusty? Yeah, uh, when I when I when I'm busy and I don't have the time to to practice English, if I return uh, the the practicing, uh, I feel really rusty. <laughs> if you get you, yeah, well, that's is is like when you are learning an instrument, a new instrument. If you quit practicing, uh, you get rusty. You yeah. lose the the skill. Mm, yeah, it's true. Okay, um, do you think that learning a foreign language not only english let's let I'm, I'm speaking in general in general in general terms do you think that learning a foreign language requires a lot of effort true false or we go back to the same thing that you just said it depends on on the method uh well it requires practice uh more more than a method uh it requires that you you um, you keep practicing because mm -hmm. uh, is uh, I think it's the most important uh, way. Practicing and practicing, uh, yeah, it's very important because if you if you like a language, uh, you'll you'll practice by just by hobby or just mm -hmm. because you you like it. It takes you... eff it takes effort, it takes time and dedication. Yeah, it takes As everything. Uh, just discipline. like everything. Yeah, discipline. Just like everything. But it's gonna be a, a it's gonna be a phone ride, a phone ride. You've got you've got to love the process, the learning process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a really, really interesting process. Yeah. Why do people? Why why do some people, if not the majority, think that a class should be like you go into the place and you sit down and you stay quiet and so respectful. <laughs> well, it, it should be like that because, uh, for example, um, putting English aside, um, for example, if you're taking any class like math or uh, biology, for example, if you practice your knowledge, if you put in practice this knowledge, it makes easier easier to, to remember and to to domain this the topic. Uh, for example, in English, if you if you are learning in the learning process, uh, the, I think that the most important part is to keep practicing because mm -hmm. you and you to make recognize errors as, yeah. as as Uncle Tiofo. No, 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 Teacher Tiofo. That's not an uncle. That's, <laughs> that's a teacher. Teacher Tiofo uh, is always making a point of making a point of means to remark, remarking mm -hmm. on something. He's always making a point of. Mistakes made mistakes. I spoken to, I spoken to quite a few natives, and they made mistakes throughout the chat. They made mistakes. <laughs> or even even us uh, mm -hmm. speaking in Spanish. <laughs> so when a per lots of mistakes. Yeah, when a person goes on, goes on, on on camera and they start speaking 
in any language, they feel afraid. most of the time they feel afraid of making mistakes. Mm -hmm. They say, no, what if I go on the camera and make a mistake? What if I say, what if I say uh, it's more easy instead of it's easier? Let me tell you something. I like um, listening to these, 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 and this. You know, this is the problem, these and this. Mm -hmm. to, to these podcasts uh, from AJ Hawk, one of the best English teachers to me in the world and in the States. And... I can see that he makes lots of mistakes, lots of mistakes. He's, he's always making videos and, 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 and posting them on YouTube and all over his platforms. But you can, you, can, you can see that when he's speaking, he's being so natural and, and just letting the words out. He's always making mistakes such as more easy, there's, instead of there are when speaking on plural and, and, and all that, you know, all those typical mistakes. So mm -hmm. I used to, I used to have, I used to, I used to be like, I used to feel afraid of going on the camera because I think that if, that if I went on a show, on a show, on a TV show, I think I would make mistakes even in Spanish because yeah. of, because of the cameras and, and the audience and all that. So let, let um, yeah, I think it's, it's, I think in English it would be. It is the same. Is the same. Yeah, it, it is yeah. the same thing. It's a natural, natural thing. Mm -hmm. I'm nervous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just so don't stop yourself from from making from making mistakes. If you want to say more easy, I know some teachers will 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 correct you, and they will probably hate you for for making these mistakes. It's not more easy. Don't listen to the teacher. The teacher room is crazy. It is easier. But if you say more easy, what about it? <laughs> the, the, the most important thing is to deliver the message. Exactly. <laughs> Get the message across and that's it. If you, if, you, if you make mistakes, do it. If you stumble over the words, probably some people are not used to speaking on the camera just like we're doing it right now. And they, um, they bumble a lot. It's normal. Mm -hmm. They're not used to. They're not used to going on a camera and having people watching them. It's a normal thing. You you learn in time. Yeah. Okay. Only, only by speaking, you'll recognize. You have the chance to recognize your mistakes and yeah, to correct true, them. Yeah. yeah, we all know. You know how how you know when you make a mistake. You know how shitty is your mistake. You know when you made a mistake. So, but what about it? just keep on, keep on um, the speech. Okay, yeah. let's let's go with the second third question. According to you, Mr. Lewis, what are the best ways or methods to learn a language in general terms? Uh, I think it's it's important to have this uh, this equilibrium between uh, listening and speaking because the, the, the balance uh, the balance yeah, between listening and speaking because. For example, people that uh, walk, that go to to the USA for work or just to mm -hmm. to try to to learn a language, so they are forced because they are always uh, list, they are always listening and they are forced to. They're to, exposed to, speak. to the they're exposed to the language. To yeah. the language. They're exposed yeah. to it. Okay, and. Let me let me ask you the question again. It says, "What are the best ways?" If not, I mean, if if you're not in an English-speaking country, as we're as we are now, we're in Mexico. To you, what's the best way, or what are what are the best ways? The best ways. Uh -huh. to you. I mean, all the tips or what you've been doing in order to 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 keep up your practice, to keep your practice, to keep, obviously by speaking, by listening to music, but is there a technique that you use? Well, did, you, well, did, you, did you memorize words? No, I, I don't try to memorize words. Uh, just a few words, for example, new words, for example, uh, phrasal verbs, for example, if, mm -hmm. are, if I, um, if I get a new phrasal verb, a new word, uh, I try to memorize and put this on practice. But yeah, 
what what I do is to to try to to keep lis the listening um, mm -hmm. in the during the day. For example, okay. listening to music or for example a podcast or watching a film. Mm -hmm. Trying to practice the, the listening part. If you yes. if you won't have the chance to to speak, uh, I try to to keep the listening part. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, check out the chat, please. This is a learning move by heart. What's that EM to you? The Jalanem off by heart. To learn something off by heart means to memorize it. Memorize. To memorize it. That means that means to memorize something. To memorize something. So if you say I, I need to memorize this, you can also say I need to learn I need to learn this off by heart. I need to learn this off by heart. So you never learn anything off by heart when it comes down to English, do you? When it comes down to English, uh, no, actually, you don't. Not really? Uh, uh, no, not really. Only, only on the exams. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good question. And a good answer as well. Okay. <laughs> Moving on to the fourth one. The execution time. Execution time, yes. <laughs> How... In, in, in your own experience or according to your own information, how does our memory work? How does our memory work? Our memory? Now, our memories. How mm. how does our memory work? Uh, well, I, I've heard, I've read in some articles that we have uh, two, two memories, uh, the long place and near, near place memory. Okay. So, so I, I think that if you're trying to memorize something uh, and don't put this in practice, you're gonna forget this uh, really quick, <laughs> really fast. Yeah. So, so for example, in the exams, if you memorize something for the exam, as soon as you leave the, the classroom, you're gonna forget <laughs> the 50% of <laughs> the exam. Okay. So, because <laughs> you're trying to force this memorize. Yes, so this probably will ring a bell to you. What is le long, long-term memory and short-term memory? Yeah, um, for example, long-term is that you're going to memorize or you can remember something the years ago, for example, mm -hmm. or months ago. How is uh, short, short-term memory? Um, something that that's just happened. In a near in a near near past, mm -hmm. for example, yeah. in a day, in an hour, or minutes ago. Okay, okay. For example, I don't have a I don't have a good uh, short term memory. <laughs> good short good short term <laughs> memory. Okay. <laughs> uh, what do you, it's okay? We're gonna be changing the top the the, the questions, you know, as we as we uh, go on. What do you think of traditional Mexican food? Traditional Mexican food? Traditional Mexican food, yes. Oh, delicious. <laughs> we have lots of uh, good dishes here in Mexico. Traditional dishes. Has our traditional food suffered any changes over the years? Uh, yeah, actually... Uh, Actually, is uh, we don't have many changes. Uh, we have um, not get at all. more. Not not all. For example, we've uh, been incorporating new food, foreign foreign dishes. More than food, you 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 mm -hmm. was, if, if you okay if we if we speak on more than food, what kind of more than dishes do we go about in Mexico these days? For example, lots of fast food. For example, sushi. Sushi is kind of a new, well, maybe 15 years ago, 10 years ago. Yeah, it came, uh, in, yeah, it came we, into, into yeah. Mexico. We, and we made it Mexican, <laughs> the Mexican yeah, we, way. Yeah, we, in a way, we've been, we've been adopting dishes from different countries and we've, we've been making we've been uh, making them our own way yeah, over and, the years. Uh, but the good part is that uh, we are still conserving our traditional dishes, like pozole, 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. That's true. Pozole, I, I love it. I love it. All the Mexican dishes. I'm more into menu. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a hard one for me because I love oh. both. I love both. Okay. <laughs> Moving on to the following question. Fast food restaurants, a good idea or a growing problem? Uh, both. Because <laughs> uh, lots of fast food uh, recipes are not really healthy, uh, are really, really uh, make Harm you... Harmful. Harmful. Yeah, for uh, yeah harmful. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was looking for that word. Mm -hmm. uh, are really harmful, but it's good in a way if, for example, if you don't have much time, it's better that you consume uh, a liter of fast food or consume a liter of food than not consuming anything at all. So yeah. um, it's kind of uh, <laughs> equal. <laughs> yeah, kind of, kind of the same in a way. And it's, uh, you know, there are, uh, there are advantages and disadvantages. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the most advantage is Spanish is that if you don't have much time, uh, it's better to consume. Yeah, that is just, yeah, that's true. That's true. What's the most typical uh, fast food that we got in town? Here in Oregon, oh, the yeah. the logos. Oh, really delicious! What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> And we send a big hello to my friend Rodolfo if, if he's watching us and to our friend Arturo and to all the guys. And Natasha Teofi. Yeah, actually as well. But he's <laughs> he's kind of busy right now with his barbecue. Um is eating healthy food popular these days in Mexico? No, for example, I've watched, uh, I've seen uh, restaurants that serves uh, salads, for example, and See, they're uh, and yeah, and they're uh, really expensive. <laughs> are they? Yeah, they're really expensive you know, compared to to eating a, a logo. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. How about sports, Mister Luis? Have you ever tried any sports? Well, I've uh, played football and a little baseball okay yes, yeah, actually we have a, a, a team <laughs> in the in, team yeah in, a, in our skill let me show you the the uniform oh bring it on There it is, Tisha. Okay, let's have a look at it. It says, it says buffaloes. Yeah, buffaloes. <laughs> okay, is that is that uh, the 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 shirt? The, that is okay. Is it only uh, the shirt? No, no shorts yeah. or something. Yeah, we have the the shirt, but okay, is the whole oh. the whole kit? Oh, Mister <laughs> Mister Louis, free yes. Nice, 69. Good, good. <laughs> so how frequent how frequent do you you guys uh, practice uh, football? Is it uh, football? Yeah, it's football. Uh, uh, how to say football? Rapid, quick football, quick. But I'm not I'm not sure about that because I I'm not I'm not into sports that much. <laughs> so uh, every Friday. Okay, <laughs> okay. So for how long have you guys been? Um, Practicing football for two months, maybe. <laughs> two months. Two months. Do you we support it? Any, any game? But we have. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that, hey, that's the attitude. That's the attitude. <laughs> um, do you support any football team? Mm, no, actually, I, the I Manchester like... City, the Manchester United. <laughs> no, actually, I don't. Manchester like English School. <laughs> the Manchester. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're not into sport that much. You're not into sport that much. But how are you? How are you to play uh, in this uh, football team, uh, which is from skill? Actually, the uh, we have uh, this uh, the team that we got is uh, from the uh, formed by the professors. 
Okay, it was it was sponsored by it. by the headmaster by, of the school. No, it's sponsored by Omeprazol and <laughs> <laughs> different 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 um, companies. <laughs> Okay, moving on to the following question. Mm. I prefer, actually, I prefer baseball. Yeah, baseball, yeah, we, we, because up north is more, more popular. It's more popular, yes. Mm -hmm. how, how, do you spend your, how do you spend your free time? What do you think of such a way? of spending free time, Mr. Luis. What is free time? <laughs> <laughs> it really does, does it exist? <laughs> not in, not in my not, Yes, not in my book. You say not in my book. <laughs> not in my book. Uh, well, if, if, it, if it did exist in your book, in your life, how, how would you like to spend it? I mean, when you do get some three minutes, <laughs> off three minutes <laughs> two minutes I mean that, I think that's that's three minutes that's to enjoy <laughs> yes to enjoy your freedom <laughs> well uh, I usually listen to music um uh, I like watching uh films watching some films uh playing the guitar but I haven't practiced it uh, for the nice. whole year <laughs> haven't touched I'm... the guitar for a year <laughs> <laughs> So, so you don't know Jay, what it feels like to have free time. That's you. You don't know what it feels like. How frequent do you do you get uh, some time off your activities, skill, everything in general? Uh, sometimes uh, at night. At night. night uh, yeah, uh, I do some exercise too. How do I like spending it uh, most of the time? Well, I don't have many options because of the pandemic. <laughs> so. mm, yeah, well, indoors. <laughs> Indoors. Be, indoors. Okay. Go a second. Mm. What would be your dream job and why? My dream job? Yeah. My dream is not to to work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Moving on, to the, money. moving on to the following question. Thank you. That's been the <laughs> best answer that I... Like, like Don Ramon? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, there's, uh, there's no bad job, but the bad thing is to work. <laughs> yeah. I would like to be a politician. A not politician. To, not to well, work and be rich. Well, we, <laughs> we go back to the same. If that, that all adds up to the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, my dream job is to work at a at a lab. I would like to, to have Which my job? own lab. Oh, your own lab. Yeah. And what you you see that like really far from happening? No, actually, uh, that's the reason why uh, I wanna study the the PhD because I wanna be a researcher. Okay. Well, it's not that it's not a big deal, is it? Uh, no, actually, it's. It can be far off, can but can be far off reality. You can make it. You can make it. You can't make it happen. You can make it. Yeah, you can make it. Come true, yes. Okay. Mm. What? Which is more important, job satisfaction or high salary? Salary. <laughs> I said, why? Why? Yeah. <laughs> how about the how about the, the satisfaction that you get from doing what you like? I, I know that it 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 matters, of course. But these days, is it more the job satisfaction or the high salary? Come on, did you were in Mexico? We don't have any of those options. True, my friend. <laughs> we don't have neither true. salary nor <laughs> job satisfaction. Neither high salary nor um, <laughs> Satisfa satisfaction. any satisfaction <laughs> on the job on the job on the yeah. jobs we do. We're in Mexico, Tisha. Yeah, true. What was your favorite holiday? Favorite holiday? I think it's uh, Christmas because of the of the winter. <laughs> mm, yeah. The climate. Yeah, especially in town because it snows. It snows down there. 
Yeah. I, uh, actually, yesterday I saw uh, two penguins <laughs> I, <laughs> down the street. I, I saw two cables up here. <laughs> and traffic lights. Okay, moving on. Um, which, listen carefully, which country would you most like to visit and why? Well... I don't know. It's kind of a hard question. It's a tough question, isn't it? Yeah. I'd like to visit Norway. Norway? Why Norway? Because of, uh, I think, uh, when I've seen in documentals or in the news, it seems to be a, a quiet uh, place, really quiet and, and secure. And they have lots of landscapes. Yeah, yeah, well, because of the landscapes and the, the economy, safety, a little bit of everything. I've heard quite a few things from this uh, country, and they say it's it's, it's, a, it's a good place, um, the same as Australia. They also right. speak with stuff about Australia. The <laughs> Um, but everything in Australia is it helps has poison. <laughs> yes, lots of and dangerous wants, animals. And wants to kill you. Deadly animals, yes. The sharks. <laughs> especially the sharks. You can't go you can't go for a swim. Because you don't know if you're gonna make it back to the seashore. Okay. Mm. Mm -mm, I'm gonna second. Mm -mm. So we country. Okay, okay, okay. No, I think it's gonna be okay. Are you a fashion? Are you a fashion victim? Fashion victim? A fashion victim? No, actually, I have charts currently. <laughs> What do you think about fashion these these days? Uh, well, it's always changing. It's always a, a changing topic, but um, I, I prefer to be more comf comfortable. To to be more comfortable. Uh, for example, fashion is uh, all about about pain, <laughs> so we have to lots of lots of um, uh, expensive, for example, clothes. So. I think it's not necessary to, to spend a lot in, in clothes. It, it's got the, the same function as cheap clothes. Okay, okay. <laughs> Do you think that shopping is some kind of entertainment for today's society? Well, I, I think there, there are lots of people that collect um, clothes, uh, for example, collections of of clothes or people that collects um, stuff. Uh, from, I just, mm -hmm. yeah. Collect, collectors. Collectors, uh, that's uh, collectors. Uh, but uh, I think that the, with the new platforms, it's easier to, to shop, the shopping. Okay. Did you buy designer clothes or do you consider it a waste of money? If you have the money and uh, if you have any problem with with this, so what I think is is free to do what they want with their money. Yeah, it's the people. Yeah, the people they're free to do whatever they want with the money. That's true. Mm, what do you usually shop? Shop. Uh, uh -huh. What do you usually buy? Well, I like to. I like to shop uh, electronics, <laughs> so because mm -hmm. I like technology, mm -hmm. so I try to. Is is uh, I I consider that this is the most um, the most of my mm -hmm. my the the things that I bought uh, mm -hmm. are electronics. Where do you buy? Where do you usually buy them off? From I bought them off from the platforms like Mercado Libre or Amazon. Okay. I like technology. <laughs> You like technology, okay. 
actually speaking on on marketing and all that which techniques are used by 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 companies to sell their products these days i repeat the question which advertising techniques do companies use these days to sell their products <laughs> well uh, it's really common that they put uh, commercials in oh, every I social it. I, i hate it i hate it with passion <laughs> Yeah, with every social network. Uh, for example, in when you want want to watch a video, there are like two or three uh, commercials. There are more commercials than video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Lots of commercials. Uh, for example, some companies. For example, uh, most of of these companies are Chinese that they put uh, lots of lots of emphasis on selling the products cheap, mm -hmm. but selling a lot. So I think it's a it's kind of a new strategy. Okay. Speaking on the speaking on culture, culture. What do you think about the What do you think about the British culture and the American culture? Which one do you like or uh, more, or which one do you know more? Well, I prefer the the British. I haven't met uh, British people, mm -hmm. uh, uh, as I know, <laughs> but uh, I prefer the British culture because um, the, there must be a similarity between them. Uh, kind of similarity, but I think there are there are gonna be lots of difference because mm -hmm. uh, it's far mm -hmm. that, that instance and. Um, The UK is more influenced by the European uh, culture. Yeah, more influenced, influenced on. Okay, how will you describe the Mexican uh, traditions? Mexican traditions, in, in, in your own words. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, uh, a good way that I can say that the Mexican culture is that we we are always trying to. Um, look the the best of everything look on the right side do you look think right do you think that our our traditions are still remaining strong as they did back in the day or there's they're gradually dying dying up because of the new generations not well it's taking anything into account not taking probably, them into account yes it's part of the globalization process but we all always have the the mexican culture Uh, we always have the Mexican culture, but we are adopting lots of foreign co cultures because of, of the globalization. I think that the the most uh, the principal countries that the, the first world countries are the countries that are being that there has been influencing our country a lot. Influ for example, influencing, for example, in the north of Mexico, we are uh, we are. Uh, lots influencing influenced by the U.S. Mm -hmm. culture. There's lots of influence over us. Yeah, there's lots of influence. Okay, okay. Good, good, good. Mm. Speaking on on the. The educational, the Mexican educational system. What do you think about it? You as a as a professor. Uh, I think it's good. Uh, we have lots of good engineers, for example, lots of good uh, inventions. Uh, Mexicans are they're uh, they're created or I don't know how to say. Uh, there are lots of good engineers. Uh, lots of Mexicans created new inventions, innovations. Mm -hmm. In the world, but I have seen uh, some articles that the Mexican and some news that the Mexican uh, educational system is one of the worst. <laughs> in so the, you, were, you, 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 you as a student, as a professor, because you were a student now, you, you, you as a professor, do you really regard the, the our 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 system, our, our educational system? Do you re regard it as a 
as a rubbish system. No, not a rubbish. We have a lot uh, good, um, good professionals. Oh, do you think we need to improve in our educational system? Well, there are lots of if, things if that, that if that if that were the case. Yeah, I think that we we have to improve no not the educational system but the discipline. We are we don't have uh, much discipline. We as Mexicans. discipline, yeah, discipline uh, people. <laughs> That's true. Mm. What's your take on this uh, generation? Uh, well, it's a hard question. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that the, the next generation is been there has been more influenced by technology, but it's got the, uh, some advantages and disadvantages. Most of the disadvantages is that the technology um, can make everything easier. So lots of people are 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 getting lazier. So, and the social media is a uh, is a good way to it's a good communication, um, good way to communi communicate. But there are lots of fake news or is or lots of people waste lots of their time in social media of the new generations. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Should, should, should schools or institutions ban uniforms? Are uniforms necessary for the students? Or do you think they should be banned? I think it's a good initiate, initiate, initiative. Initiative? Mm -hmm. Initiative. Initiative um, to, to get more discipline. Because, for example, in the secondary school, Uh, everyone or uh, or wants to be rebel. <laughs> no, no, we against the the system or against the the <laughs> adults. So um, the uniform is a is a good way to to get discipline. Yeah, like, I rem is... I, do you remember uh, the the uniform from from primary school? <laughs> yeah, I, I remember this the the uniform and also uh, the one for for physical education. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, when I when I when I was at the university, um, we didn't have a uniform, but I say that uh, I bought lots of shirts from the <laughs> from the, the skill because yeah. uh, I didn't want it to repeat a lot. <laughs> the, the <clothes. laughs> so yeah, I guess it was more practical. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. It is, and it was, and I I think. In a way, they're good because you you don't you don't have to be wearing different clothes every day. So it's it's just easy just to to wash it and yeah, put, and <laughs> it was put easier it on the following day. And my mom said, uh, "Who understands you? <laughs> you, <just laughs> said that you didn't want the uniform, and you are buying <laughs> skills, <laughs> shirts." Yes, it's true. Yes, it's true. <laughs> Hey, nice chat, Mr. Luis. Before we wrap, um, what's in mind for, for, first of all, what's in mind for, for this evening? For this evening, uh, I think I'm going to continue. I, I have to organize a, a, a manual, manual from the lab that I have to correct some, some things. So I, I'll continue. I, I want to finish this, this mm -hmm. uh, manual. So, mm -hmm. and then I'll continue with the uh, checking the exams. Uh, actually, I, I, I forgot the word. Uh, when you when you send the, the exam to the students, I forgot the, the word. Uh, well, you, when, once you check the exams, you're gonna. No, when you, when you, cuando pones el examen a alguien más. Set. Ah, students said, for an exam. Uh, actually, I said the, the students for an exam today. So oh, you, I, set, you set them all for an exam. Yeah. <laughs> so you, 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 you ain't going to get a, a little moment there for you to relax and watch a film or something. Maybe tonight. later. 
for uh, maybe later because uh, I just want to check because I send said this the the exam and the the deadline is tomorrow. Ah, uh, it's by tomorrow. Yeah, it's by tomorrow. Okay, good. So how about how about over the weekend? What's what's in mind for the for the weekend? Uh, I don't know. I I don't have any plan. So I think that I'll stay at home and I'll relax. That's it. Maybe get possessed by Jose Jose <laughs> <laughs> on okay. Saturday. That sounds good. Sounds like a like a good plan. <laughs> okay, Mr. Luis, we're gonna wrap the chat here. Pleasure as usual. And I'll see you next Monday at 7 p.m. Thank you, teacher. Okay, Mr. Luis, pleasure as usual. See you next Monday, teacher. Have a nice S evening. You Have too. Nice you too. Enjoy it. Enjoy yourself and be careful with those possessions. You don't want to prolong, <laughs> prolong them and, and have some issues to go to work. I got the Ouija behind me. I'm going to contact him. <laughs> first. Okay. Okay, Mr. Luis. Pleasure. You should take care. Have a good one. Thanks, teacher. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>